Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, it's actually one of my favorites to film. We can just hang out and look at pretty eyeshadows. This is called Swatch and Sip. And if you don't know what that is, it's a little series on my channel. Basically, it's just therapy for myself. And what calms me, one of my favorite activities to do is just swatch eyeshadows, really pretty eyeshadows. So today's theme is going to be my favorite purple eyeshadows. Something important to keep in mind is I have a lot of purple eyeshadow palettes. If you don't see a palette featured, it doesn't mean I don't like it or I didn't like the shadows in it. Honestly, I just have so many, I really had to narrow it down. I have 16 palettes here. And this isn't a palette video. These aren't my favorite palettes. I just think that these palettes contain some of my favorite, most pretty purple eyeshadows that I wanna swatch and see on my arm and that I wanna show you guys guys the reflex the shininess and how pretty they are so for example my Natasha Denona 28 purple blue palette that's one of my favorite palettes there was just some other shadows I felt like swatching for you and giving you the beautiful factor so these are definitely some of my favorite purple eyeshadows and when I think of wearing purple shadows and that pop on the lid these are the shadows that I want to go for so if you want to swatch some of my favorite purple eyeshadows with me then just keep watching also the sip part. Today we are drinking a matcha latte. I drank most of it already. I saved a little bit, but uh, it's just too good. I make a killer matcha latte, you guys. I make a really healthy version. Like I can make a not healthy, really good, creamy, thick version, but my healthy version is equal parts water, equal parts cashew milk. Put a splash of vanilla creamer. Well, actually more than just a splash. But put some vanilla creamer in there, a little bit of stevia, about two or so tablespoons of matcha powder. Mix it all up and uh, you have the best matcha latte ever. So good. Anyways, okay, let's get to swatching. I'm trying it today. Last time I used a second camera, I have a new lens and the autofocus on this lens is just incredible. So today I'm gonna test out and see what this lens can really do. So let's zoom on in. We're probably a lot closer to my face than I would like to be, but this is all about the shadows. I just gotta stop and say this. Picture yourself sitting down, editing footage of your face so close to the camera in this top-notch HD footage. <laughs> Girl, you ugly. So I just organized them in brand. There really is no particular order of like my favorite to least favorite or anything. But this is not even a purple palette, but I love a purple shade in here. This is the Huda Beauty Nude Light Eyeshadow Palette. It's so pretty. And this shade right here, I am in love with. As you can see, it is just a pinky palette, but this really light lilac shade, it's one of my favorites to finish off a purple eyeshadow look. Look at this. Ooh, she's so good. Do you guys see how pretty she is? Just that reflect. It's really light and kind of not subtle, but it's a lighter shade. But it really is one of my favorite purple shadows to finish off a look. I love it. Okay, so Sat, as I'm sitting here editing, I'm looking at this and I'm like, girl, that's pink. That's not even purple. But whatever, it's still pretty. I hope I'm not scaring you with how close my face is, but I have a couple shades from Kaleidos. So the first one is the Futurism 3 Astro Pink Shadow Palette. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's this middle shade right here. It's again, a really light lilac-y kind of shade, but this is such a buttery smooth formula. It picks up so much pigment. And look, you guys, look at this. Ugh. It could run down your entire arm. The quality of this is spectacular. And seriously, you guys, seriously, seriously, how, how? Oh my gosh, this is why I love doing these videos because who doesn't like to stare at this? <laughs> also from Kaleidos, they came out with the Escape Pod palette. This is really new. This is their newest shadow palette. It just released this month. And it's not a purple themed palette, but the purples of course are what stands out to me. So I'm gonna swatch this matte shade for you because this is one of my favorite lilac shades. And then I'm also gonna swatch these two down here so you can see all the reflex and glittery and how pretty they are. I absolutely love this palette, you guys. I think it's incredible. So we're gonna start off with the matte shade, which... <laughs> that was the worst swatch ever, you guys. I can't really see what I'm swatching, so just bear with me. But do you guys see how this compare with so many pretty purple shadows? I just, I love it. And then let me swatch the two purple shimmery shades for you. So we have this darker color. 
And again, you can see the quality in that swatch right there. This isn't quite as pigmented as this first shade, but it is so reflective. Kaleidos really has a special formula, and this one is more of a lid toppery kind of formula, but I just want you to see the reflex that this, this has. It has like purple, blue, lavender reflex. Like, have you ever seen a more beautiful arm? Look at that. Oh. So good. Just a little update because I did do a review on this collection. I've been enjoying this palette a lot. I think it's great. Some other purple shadows that I love are in this Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. This is the only item I own from Lunar Beauty, but I can tell that everybody really enjoys the quality of his brand. So I'm gonna swatch this shade right here because ugh, this all over the lid you guys it has like a lid toppery texture so there's not a ton of pigmentation in here but i just love it because i feel like the reflex in here are really strong like the duochrome and they really hit the light really pretty and then i'm also going to swatch this shade this shade isn't i don't know is it, if is this even purple i love it though as an inner corner highlight kind of similar to that kaleidos shade but it has a bit more of a hot pink reflect a little bit of a gray cast to it i don't know really weird but obviously this palette isn't all purple that top row though for purples you will really like also i think you guys would come for me if i didn't talk about the purples in my two favorite tom ford quads a lot of you have messaged me that i have put you onto these so we're going to talk about pretty baby so this one I'm in love with this shade. This is one of my favorite purple shades ever. It's a purple with a strong blue duochrome to it. Honestly, it's even more blue than purple, but I just, I wanna talk about it with you guys. We're gonna come on in. Ugh, do you guys see that? And look, it doesn't really, it doesn't look like any of the shades on my arm. And on the eyelid, the blue duochrome shift, I'm trying to get it angled right is just so strong this with purple is in the crease honestly i don't think i've ever gotten more compliments on my makeup than when i wore that palette truly by the way i'm totally a fake because i'm not even wearing purple eyeshadow but i'm trying to get my charlotte tilbury rankings done for you guys so i had to do this but i know i'm so fake the other tom ford purple quad and this swatch is like a dream so i wanted to show this to you guys this is daydream it's a little bit harder to get a hold of i believe they're discontinuing it some people found a few in stock at nordstrom some people found a few in stock at uh macy's i believe i'll link it down below for you guys but let's swatch this shade because this is one of my favorite purple shades of all time i gotta stand up for this I'm running out of room uh, okay, wow. Such a pretty lavender shade. And it has like a good wearability to it, honestly. I'm just gonna swatch the whole quad because I know I said this wasn't a palette video, but everything in this quad knocks my socks off, genuinely. And none of them are matte, but they look so pretty on the eyelid. I know my swatches never do things justice because I suck at swatching, but tell me that my arm isn't just... A dream right now okay so i'm gonna wash this off and then we'll continue this venture arm is all clean for some more let's move on to viseart i have a couple of shadows from viseart where they really killed it with the purple so the first one is from the koi palette which is honestly such an underrated palette from them i love this palette but let's talk about this purple right here so i love this mostly because of when you layer with it it looks beautiful on top of like an eggplant color or a black but let me show you it on its own because it is still equally as impressive that's just how i prefer to use it but you guys see I really love these lavender lilac-y kind of purple shades. That's kind of my jam. This one's a really good one and it's just a beautiful soft focal point for these spring colors. This one is pretty too, but this one is one of my favorite purple shades ever. Now this is one of my favorite purple palettes ever and I heard it was restocking this fall, but this is the Liaison palette. Seriously, one of the best purple palettes ever. I'm going to swatch these three for you because every single shadow in this palette is incredible and they swatch just 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 watch just watch okay this could run down my entire arm okay and then we have this deeper shadow look at the pigment in this now keep in mind i'm the worst swatcher in the world but just know just know here's the last one Ugh. 
Honestly, this is my favorite purple palette ever. I just think this has the most incredible formula and the most beautiful shades I've ever seen. I love this so much. Okay, I have a few indie shadows to show you. In my first ever swatch and sip, I only did indie shadows, so some of these were featured in there, but I just wanted to highlight once again these indie brands with amazing formulas. So I have a couple from Touch of Glam Beauty. You can purchase her stuff on Etsy, but let's start off with, this is Purple Rain Shifter. So here's how we're looking in the pan. And I think I convinced a lot of you guys to look into indie brands, which I am so happy about after my original swatch and sip showing you these indie shadows. But I hope I can turn you guys on again in this video because look at that. So this is a shifter shade. So it has that very blue duochrome to it. But I mean, do you see how this shade stands out against these other purples? I've said this time and time again, but so many indie brands have a way with formulation that these bigger brands just can't do. In this little guy that I have of More Touch of Glam Beauty, you have all of these purple shades. I'm gonna swatch a few for you just because I also love the owner. So I wanna give her a shout out. So this is Fantasy. This on here, oof, they just, feel so creamy even before you swatch them. Fantasy has a bit of a yellow shift to it. Look at that. I mean, seriously. Hey, take a look at Temptress. Something a little deeper, just so gorgeous. Lastly, from Touch of Glam, we have Bewitched, which, oh my gosh. Look at that, really deep berry color. I wish I had more than two eyes so that I could wear these shadows more. They're just so incredible. So that was Touch of Glam Beauty. Highly recommend you check out her shop. I also really love Terra Moons. I have three shades from Terra Moons that I wanna show you. This whole palette is Terra Moons. I also have some Sydney Grace on top, but the majority of this are my Terra Moons shades. I absolutely love them. So this is one of my favorite colors of all time. This is Moon Lily, and oh my gosh, you guys, get ready to be shooketh. I'm not even putting too much pressure in the pan. And watch this. Oh, like, girl, this all over the lid makes me want to pass out. It's so beautiful. Okay, I have a couple other shades. Let me pull them out for you. This is a newer one for me. I don't think I've showed you guys this one. This is Moon Tide. So take a look at that. Scrumptious, yes. Bada bing, bada boom, you guys. My energy is currently going up because these are so beautiful. And this one is UFO. Out of this world, truly. Ugh. I could get these tattooed on my skin. Like, I'm in heaven right now. Literally heaven. Hold on, I need to I need to take a picture of this. I look too cute. Ugh. Actually, it's like really hard to get this angle. Get my face out of here. So Terra Moons and Touch of Glam Beauty, those indie brand shadows. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I did save some Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath for you guys. So we're gonna do all of that on one arm. So I'm going to kind of wash this off. Final round. I did pick out the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I picked this out because nothing swatches like Natasha Denona palettes. They're just so creamy, buttery, smooth. So I'm just gonna go down this row to swatch for you guys. I wouldn't say this is my favorite purple palette. I don't really reach for it that much. Much. Though it is pretty, I just have other purple palettes I prefer over this. The formula is there. Don't get me wrong, it's just not my favorite curation. To me, it's not even really a full purple palette, but nothing swatches I like. Nothing swatches like Natasha Denona. Facts are facts. I just swatched Crooked, but nothing swatches like a Natasha Denona shadow. And there's a reason for that because her quality is banging. That's all I got from Natasha Denona. She has some gorgeous purpley pinky shades, but I only got one arm. <laughs> and then Pat McGrath. I have a lot of purple shadows from Pat McGrath that I am obsessed with. So this first one is a single shadow and I I, never, I cannot encourage you purchasing her single shadows because these are so expensive and a horrible value. But this shade, Synthetica, that's all I'm gonna say. Look at it. Like, she is expensive. She's a horrible value. Ignore my stained fingers, but look at this. Now, what I don't love about this is it does have a black base to it. 
But what does it matter when it's so gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that. The glitters in there, only Pat can do. This one I'm gonna upset you guys because this was truly the most limited release of Pat McGrath ever. Like, this was super limited, super limited edition. And this is the Mothership eyeshadow palette from the Star Wars collection. This is Dark Galaxy. And I don't talk about this palette because a lot of you couldn't get your hands on it, but this is one of my favorite palettes from her. It's so good, especially of the small Motherships. I think this is probably the best one she's come out with in my opinion. Her purple shades in here, scrumptious. So I'm gonna swatch like these three down here so that you can see. The first shade that I'm gonna swatch, it's not gonna be super purple, but it's in the purple family. And I just love this palette so much. When I was thinking about purple shadows I wanted to swatch for you guys today, this came to my mind immediately. So this shade, like I said, I mean, I don't know how purple it can classify as, but it's just so gorgeous when the light hits it, I needed to show you. We also have this deeper plum shade. I wouldn't say this one is like one of my favorite purple shadows, but might as well let the palette open. Now this, this is a standout color, you guys. I mean, these are almost not purple, but they are. This is the most unique array of purple shades I have in my collection. Sorry if you're sad, you're gonna get your hands on it. I love it. Um, and then I also have a couple of shades from the Big Mothership palette. This one I just talked about in the Pat McGrath palette that I created. This is from the Mothership 3 Subversive palette, and it's this shade right here. This is a blue-purple duochrome, and it is honestly one of my favorite shadows ever. Look at this. This is all, one of my favorite shadows from Pat McGrath that has ever come out. All over the lid. It's incredible, you guys. I have featured a whole tutorial on this shadow just everywhere, all over my lid. And just the look was so pretty. And believe it or not, we're on to the last purple shade that I have to show you. And it's from, of course, I know a lot of you guys were probably waiting for this. This is from the Midnight Sun palette. If you know, you already know. My Pat McGrath fans, I know you know what's coming, but she has the most gorgeous purpley shade in here. Now I must say, she is not buttery, creamy, smooth like a lot of the other shadows I showed you today, but you can't tell me she isn't stunning. Here we go, last one, take us home. Like I said, not the butteriest, creamiest that I've given you examples of today, but equally as gorgeous for sure. So this is what we have going on this arm of my favorite purple shadows. All right guys, so that is it. That was a relatively quick swatch and sip where I just got to pull out my favorite color, first of all. Purple is my favorite eyeshadow color in the world. I know I have some other gorgeous purple shadows sitting in my collection behind me. But like I said, this is a casual video. If I miss shadows, it's okay. I have a lot of swatching that I can do in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun. I hope you feel inspired to pull out your palettes and just play because that is what makeup's about. It's not about making you look pretty all the time. If you can find some therapy in it like I can, just do it. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to me already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.